Right now, I want to tell you more about this memorial grove of trees behind me. These were planted earlier this year. There are 11 of them, one for each of the victims from Tree of Life. And there's an interesting story about how this site was chosen by the families and the 1027 Healing Partnership. A good spot for trees to grow, a spot where Shenley Park could use some trees. Amy Wattis has the story of how this came to be. The sound of trees rustling in the breeze is a familiar one to Michelle Rosenthal. I live in Squirrel Hill and I spend a lot of time walking through our parks. Um, they're a place where I find a lot of peace and, and just tranquility and, and I'm able to gather my thoughts here. And now she has a new place to reflect during her walks. 11 trees planted here in this grove in Shenley Park commemorate the 11 lives lost three years ago today at Tree of Life. Two of those lives were Michelle's brothers, David and Cecil Rosenthal. Squirrel Hill meant so much to Cecil and David. This is the neighborhood they lived in, that they knew everybody in, that people were so kind to them in. So having the trees here in a place that is special to Cecil and David means a lot. The idea behind this memorial grove came from a Taylor Alderdice High School student who has asked to remain anonymous. First time I think in my career at the parks where a teenager has approached us to plant a tree in commemoration. James Snow with the Pittsburgh Parks Conservancy says the teen approached the organization following the shooting in the fall of 2018 and the trees were planted this past spring. We wanted to be able to have people come to the space to reflect, to remember those that were lost too early, um, and to just really have a moment of reflection and um, of peace. People who come to the Grove will also notice this bench with a plaque showing the names of those 11 victims. And below their names, the phrase, may their memories forever be a blessing. Michelle Rosenthal says it's those memories that help get her and her family through during the tough times. It doesn't get any easier. Um, it's hard because there hasn't been, um, there hasn't been, the trial has still not occurred. So, um, but right now we just try to focus on the memories. And the qualities, Michelle says, her brothers shared with others. Kindness and compassionate and loving and caring and inquisitive and empathetic. The qualities that they showed, I feel like if more people in the world um, were like Cecil and David, the world would be a better place. The Grove of Trees project is completed, so anyone who wants to pay a visit can stop by. Reporting in Shenley Park, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.